Hey guys, I'm TV presenter, part-time comedian, transracial butterfly, and non-binary unicorn, Johnny Smugface, and my personal pronouns are quack, woof! I've spent a lot of time recently crying in the bath. It's so frequent now that I've started streaming it over Twitch, because if I'm going to be depressed, I might as well try to monetize it, yeah? Day after day right now, we're witnessing the very worst of humanity. Hostility, aggression, malevolence, deceit, people's lives being destroyed. I'm not talking about the war in Ukraine, of course. I'm talking about the ongoing debate over transgender rights. As you may be aware, at the centre of that debate currently is the issue of whether or not male to female trans athletes should be allowed to compete in women's professional sport. And I'm a keen proponent of inclusivity, so I think if at all possible, they should be allowed to compete. The problem, of course, is that male to female trans athletes are so much better at sport than biologically female athletes. How do we solve that problem? Well, the answer, of course, is that biologically female athletes need to try harder. They've had it far too easy for far too long. They've only ever had to compete against each other, so they've never needed to really push themselves. If all you've ever known is mediocrity, it's impossible to rise above that level. But now, with an influx of trans athletes into women's professional sports, it's a wonderful opportunity for biological women to understand that the level they've been performing at up until now simply isn't good enough, and they need to raise their game if they expect to continue earning a living as an athlete. Whether that be through training harder, improving their diets, steroid use, testosterone injections, or simply finding subtle ways to cheat, it's time for biological women to start making more effort. The influx of male to female trans athletes into women's professional sport is undoubtedly a positive and progressive development because it means an improvement to the level of competition, which will make women's sport far more watchable across the board. I think we can all agree, even at a professional level, women's sport is extremely unwatchable, embarrassingly inept. What women's professional sport needs in order to be more entertaining, to attract a bigger audience, and to be far more lucrative for all concerned, is more men, or men posing as women, or women born in the wrong bodies, or post-operative women, or girly men, or men in skirts, or whatever you want to call it. I want to see more trans women competing against biological women, whether it be in a boxing ring, an MMA octagon, or on a rugby pitch. Let's mix things up a bit and see what happens, yeah? At the end of the day, it's all about diversity, inclusivity, and fairness. So biological women need to stop whinging for once in their lives and just shut up and stick a tampon in it. Bye-bye!